Okay, here's the improved version of the stovetop water distiller. As you can see by the losing my steam loss there, it's not perfect yet, but we're getting closer. This is a six quart pressure cooker from Walmart, $20. There's the box. All right. And this is a quarter inch copper tubing. Found that at uh, Home Depot for $20, thereabout. And the fittings is just, there's only two, plus a washer that I improvised out of the garage. But um, there's this pressure fitting that is commonly used for refrigerators and other water applications. And that's on there. And underneath it is just um, a miscellaneous uh, brass fitting that hold, holds it in place. It just acts as a nut. So it's really not important to see it. Anything that will screw into the bottom side and keep that secure is fine. Now, this steam sucks, but it's because this washer has a cut in the back. Let me see if I can get, show you. Can you see that? There's a break in the washer. And even if there wasn't a break, I would lose steam there because it's metal, it's not, uh, it's not rubber. So it's not gonna get a good seal. I will eventually, I'll do some research and find a rubber that won't break down under these temperatures, which are gonna be, I'm gonna look for something that doesn't break down, you know, until like a thousand degrees, which this will never reach that high, so that's good. Ideally, with such a small pipe or tubing, uh, oh, by the way, this is 20 feet of quarter inch copper tubing. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, it's all kind of just uh, rigged at the moment. Um, but you see, look right down there. Let me get this focused. It's working. Now, that entire thing is kind of full of steam, which is not good because the steam will escape from the top of that lid. And you don't want the copper to get so hot that you know the heat travels all the way down through there and then begins to melt the green you know top it defeats the purpose if you take fluoride out of your water and other hazardous chemicals out of your water then replace them with melted plastic chemicals which god knows what's in that i'm holding it in place with this bungee cord which my thinking is if it gets really really hot it'll break that or i'll start seeing some smoke or something come off of it it's, uh, I don't think it's getting that high. It's probably like 200 degrees tops. Um, probably much less than that, probably like 150. But anyway, I'll, I'll work all this out. I've seen some videos on YouTube where they feed this coil through a, a bucket of ice water, through like a five gallon bucket. And I may do that. I think that's probably the easiest way to go about about it you know without a pump and uh, recirculating water which I may do that too um, I may put well I, it would be a good idea to drill a hole in the refrigerator and ah, anyway I'll brainstorm on that some other time but I think the pressure is a bit high I'm gonna turn this down I'm losing just a ton of steam out of there. It doesn't matter how high I set it, I still lose steam. And I don't know what all this gizmo shit is on here. I may plug all these, although I'm sure that'll make this a little more dangerous. But um, really, it's not bad for it to be venting some steam right there. Uh, these things can explode. And what the place that I've put this, it was at the safety plug. I took the safety plug out. Let me see, I'll zoom in on it on the picture since it's no longer in place, that thing. That was the safety plug. And it's just a rubber plug that if the pressure gets too high, it will force that plug out and release the steam. Now I've replaced that with a 
bit of tubing, but if this tubing were to get, I don't know, crimped, it's possible that this could get, could gain a lot more pressure than it was designed to hold. And either one of these fittings would blow off or this entire thing could just keep building pressure till it explodes. So that's not a good thing. So you kind of have to be a little safety conscious in working with this. Though there's a lot of little places, like let me take this. You see that water coming out of there? I'm not gonna take this off because the steam, there's a hole in the top of that thing where it screws on and it releases some steam. So as long as you don't have your oven, you know, cranked up to the highest setting, should be all right. Um, anyway, so there it is. Now, ideally, I would have liked to use three quarter, but that would have required me to drill through stainless steel, which is I don't have a I don't have a bit capable of drilling through stainless steel. If you try it with just a normal bit, it'll just destroy your bit. You won't even make a dent in the stainless steel, but you'll melt your bit. You know all the crap. Uh, so you need a bit that is capable of going through stainless steel, and I'll probably get one soon and replace this pipe with uh, three quarter. That way, there it takes less pressure. Well, actually, it would take more pressure to push up that turn right there, but um, there's more surface area for the water to condense on. So. I mean, the average temperature in my house is uh, about 70 degrees right now. Let me see if this is hot to the touch. Let me do something stupid here. Yes, it is very hot. I don't think it's hot enough to melt anything or burn anything, but it's, it's pretty freaking hot. And let's see down here. Yeah, that's very hot too. It's too hot, really. All right, now you see the problem with having that still being steam coming out. I'm glad this happened, actually. It has begun to shrink that, which means it is starting to, uh, it's gotten hotter than this plastic can handle. So it's starting to melt the plastic. Now the water inside's probably fine, but I'm not gonna drink it. Um, I'm gonna dump this out. But you see, you shouldn't have, I've turned it down. Now it's still boiling in there, but the steam's a lot less. Now yesterday when I did this, I ran it for like th two, three hours and it took a long time, but this didn't happen yesterday. Now running it on full, there was a lot of steam coming out of there. So that steam you gotta figure is at least 220 degrees. Um, that's apparently too hot for this to handle. So. I guess we've learned something from this video. Uh, I'll keep working on it and keep posting better revisions of this. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.